Let me tell you what I miss about the barroom. Mind you, I don't mind not being a drunk part or being able to hear people's livers talking to them. But it's a known fact that more interesting people are found in bars than, say, <laughs> PTA meetings. So I can say without fear of relapsing that I miss the people. I miss walking in, sitting down, and only having to make eye contact with the server to be served. Often leapfrogging over envious non-regulars who have been trying to catch the bartender's attention. I miss my friend Bob, a booze-soaked dreamer who showed up like clockwork once a week, Saturday nights. Back then, bottles of beer cost a buck, and he would place a penny on the bar and not move, not move until he drank it all up. Regaling the bar with impressions of Jimmy Stewart and John Wayne in between impossibly large cups of from Miller Lite long neck bottles. He was also the only person in the Western Hemisphere who knew all the words to Bob Dylan's song, just like Tom Thumb Blues, and would sing the entire song on request, something I doubt even Dylan could do now. I miss the three brothers who were... I miss the three brothers who were all members of the Lincoln Link drinking team, who occasionally, when the moon was right, would find themselves in the same place bar, which, of course, led to the deep, rooted childhood grievances being aired, and combined with 2 a.m. whiskey, would be sold in violence so sudden it was like a hand grenade being rolled on the door. Once they took out both the women's and the men's bathroom doors with each other's heads. <laughs> and it all happened so gracefully you swear it was choreographed. 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 Like drunken figure skaters. Choreographed. Like drunken figure skaters. But all were extremely personable, well-spoken, intelligent guys. A joy to have around when the respective tanks were empty and each man enough to be genuinely remorseful the next day when they showed up with tools to fix what they broken, having gone the accident report when the clouds parted. I missed the guy who would come in Friday after work, flush with the water pay, and process to toss every cent of it away on Budweiser's and the video poker machine, which he swore was possessed by some sort of vile Englishman who hated Irish gamblers. One time, he stopped and bought some steak for him and his wife, but got so wrapped up in the game that he forgot it he had left it on the bar when he proceeded to attract flies. I miss the old southern man who would come in once a week and drink rum and cokes, saving each straw so that at the end of the night they would resemble a large bamboo house blown down by the big bad wolf on the bar. He bragged incessantly about two things, Clemson University and his son, whom everybody knew was slow in the head, and once in the middle of an unsolicited mala about target shooting, said that my boy can pick a flea off a dog's ass in half a minute, <laughs> which I suppose, suppose is the sort of thing you practice at Clemson, Clemson University. I miss the guy who would plead with the bartender not to give him whiskey later in the night. No matter what I say, he'd say. And later when the beer played tricks with his memory, which was truthfully never very good to begin with, he'd be begging, cajoling, threatening, threatening that the whole world was crazy and that he would never ask to be served whiskey, as it was unchristian. I miss them all just enough to get nostalgic, and as you get older, nostalgia is as common as gray hair, and you figure you can somehow deal with both things without too many people noticing. I was just thinking about that today.